Hi, I'm Shruti Dineshan and today I'll be unboxing the SonicWave 231C Wireless Access Point or AP. The SonicWave 231C, part of SonicWave 200 series, enhances wireless user experience by delivering gigabit performance, range and reliability of 802.11ac Wave 2 wireless technology in a solution that is extremely secure and affordable. The product comes in this box which is small and compact. The label on it displays the product model, serial number, auth code, QR code, etc. And on the side, you have the Zero Touch Ready label, implying that this unit is Zero Touch deployment capable. Let's open the box and take a look at the contents inside. I have opened the factory seal to save us some time here. So the box comes with a few guides, as you can see. There's a safety, environmental and regulatory information guide followed by the quick start guide to help you get started on the setup of these access points. The access points are beautifully wrapped in a plastic cover to protect it from dust and dirt. You can easily pull out the AP. Here it is, the 231C. It is nice and light, weighing in just about one pound. On one side, you can see the LEDs. There's one for power, one for LAN, one for the 5 GHz radio, and one for the 2.4 GHz radio. The LED light patterns signify different scenarios. Generally, if the LEDs don't light up, it means that it's not operational. Solid green indicates that the radio is on, while blinking green indicates there's active traffic. These LEDs are dimmable, which makes it extremely useful for discrete deployments for instance, in hospitals and hotel rooms where blinking lights can be annoying. Besides the LEDs, you will notice a USB 2.0 port. The USB port is useful to create a mobile wireless hotspot, or it can be used to offload Wi-Fi traffic in case of failover. On the other side, you'll find a silver sticker. If you tamper with this, it will revoke the warranty. On the back side, you will find a PoE or LAN port to power on the device or for LAN connectivity. There is a 12 volt adapter port should you wish to power it on with an adapter. The tiny hole here is a reset button and these are the insert points for the mounting brackets. When the access point is installed, the back panel is attached to a ceiling or to a wall or to other flat surface. Let's take a look at the mounting bracket and the other accessories in the box. The mounting bracket support two T-bar widths, 15 sixteenths of an inch and 9 sixteenths of an inch. The mounting brackets are easy to install. Just push and rotate. It also comes with screws that could be inserted in these places, often to secure them on flat surfaces. There is a CAT5e cable that can be used to connect the LAN or PoE port. The access points are powered on by 802.3 AT or 802.3 AF compliant power supplies. You can easily expand your networks with these APs using mesh technology. Further remove the complexity of deployment with cloud management. Advanced security services can be activated directly from SonicWave access points, even where firewalls are not deployed. These APs are ideal for most indoor deployment. To learn more about our wireless solution, visit sonicwall.com.